All right, let's try to bring this thing a little bit closer. deeper with it. There might still be like there's plenty of interesting looking stuff down here. But I still want to scan. The only problem being these little trap guys are annoying. It's also a little bit easier to maneuver outside of this. Try to find our way down. Can't tell if that's a new fish. Looks similar to. Oh! I think that's kind of what we're looking for right there. So this is probably the way down I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. Exactly here. Oops. Okay, looks like it goes deeper down here. Fun shark dudes I love. Okay, almost at the body cache. Uh, get out and grab this year nights. Uh, we don't necessarily need it yet. It's a little bit more on the rarer side. So far. Maybe we'll start seeing more of it now that we're deeper down. This looks like a parking spot. Uh, I don't know if we <laughs> grabbed too many of those. Kind of looks like we might have. But we should be good for the moment. Let's hop on out. I saw something weird floating. Might have been nothing. Grab some more urinites. Oh, I knew there's stuff to scan. Loop plants. This terrestrial plant features two thick red stalks that intertwine around a centralized green bulb. A series of thin yellow rings grow around the bulb in a decentralized orbit. Also, benzene's one of our new recipes. That's flowering spores and ribbon plants. Some more flowering spores might not be a bad idea, except we don't have much for benzene yet. Uh, what else? Ah, sea truck aquarium module. That'll be a fun one. See what we got going on in here. Oh, this place actually looks pretty cool. Uh, headlights. Ancient ornamental plants. Molecular scans point to incredibly slow cell metabolism which is backed up by carbon dating. The plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. Trans this process alters the state of cells and transforms them to a new cell type over time. Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for incredibly long periods of time. 
the carefully regulated structure of this plant's cellular biology, and the intentional nature of its display, amongst other alien artifacts, suggests that the architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. Gotcha. Oops. Yeah, this I would call a greenhouse more than the thing we saw on the surface. Uh oh. Architect component. Uh, architect skeletons, a new blueprint synthesized. A dense synthetic skeletal structure made from unknown alien components. It is estimated that the skeletal material would score a 10 on the Mohs test for material hardness. It is highly resistant to shattering due to its incredibly strong impact strength. And I think the skeleton is another one down here. Yep. Diamond, plasteel, polyaniline. Probably gonna have to start making some of this stuff. Oh, we're at max pin. That's fine. We still have to find the organs. This skeleton is very dense. Able to handle heavy forces. A good friend for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Well, let's see if there's any other goodies to be had. Or even other stuff to scan. Does look relatively empty. So I'm guessing that thing kind of came here to die, but it wanted a peaceful environment to do so. It must have known it was close to dying. Sure, we'll pick up a little bit more quartz. Oh! I think we've passed a bit of this nickel ore stuff. Nickel is a medium hard, ductile metal used extensively in production of strong metal alloys. His applications throughout the construction industry. Assessment. Essential for advanced fabrication. I think we need to start collecting some of that. Uh, you look new. Now you're just a triops. Have we picked one up before, though? New creature discovered. The answer to that would be no. Uh, pick up some more uranite. Nickel, though. I think we should actually try to prioritize some of that. Oh, also, let's put our rebreather back on. Uh, mineral detector. Pop that in slot two. I thought it, at first it procced for uh, an ion cube. I was about to be like, oh, where? But now it's something else. Let's also refill our oxygen briefly. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes, that is why a cure was imperative. 
Yeah, that actually sounds kind of bad. Let's go for triops. Let's go and eat that. Oh, that doesn't give much food or water. But I suppose it's better than nothing. Kind of need more of this. Well, maybe not too much more. I hate you. Am I just not able to hit it with the mineral detector? That was, uh, odd. So they're swinging away on that thing. Yeah, so there's nickel ore around here. Oh, we need some diamonds, too. No, stay away. We also have to look for any kind of scanning symbols to come up. If I had some base building resources on me, this would be a good place to build one. Well, minus that guy. Which I think looks the same as the other ones. Chance of silver, not so worried. You can disorient me, which is dangerous. Okay, so the nickel is still slightly rare around here. Fine fish, even less water, but at least more food. Grab some urinites. I don't know exactly how much nickel we'll need, but I'd like to get more of it. Alright, okay. got us far enough away. Colorful stuff that we've already seen. Might be time to go grab the NR1. Like I definitely don't think we're done down here. Well, Yes and no about being done down here. But I think we need to find a different spot to move. I was worried about that. Hot fan. Oh. Was I low on health? And I think we just lost, yeah, we lost some of the nickel. All right, let's go pick up all that stuff we just lost. Shouldn't be too far away. Nope, oh, and there's a dropped beacon, nice. So that worked. I know that was mentioned in our first Subnautica playthrough, where if you die with a beacon on you, you drop it with the rest of your stuff. So it worked this time. Let's pop into here. Put some more stuff into storage.
Should be good. Let's actually eat this, just to make sure we're topped off on food. And let's go find another spot to kind of look around. Since this is the deepest we've been, I kind of want to check out a lot of it. If there's more stuff to check out. Uh, okay, it's like an EMP pulse. What did it? Is it that thing? We had a scan one of those before, right? Is it a different version? Swim around it. No. Maybe one of these flowers reached out and got me. anything down here can do an EMP pulse. Okay, see so some movies. Which we could use. Oh, you guys look different. Let's swim through here a little ways. Oh, you guys are different creature eggs. Pick you guys up too. You're not big ones, are you? You are. So, we'll bring one of you with us. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any nickel in this little outlet. Time to head back up. Yeah, as far as things are scanned for blueprints and stuff, it doesn't look like there's much here. Oh, you fall down. That's not nice. Let's look at our blueprints. It might be all plasteel. I think we have lithium on us. I don't know if we have titanium. Now what does polyaniline require? No, I didn't go up high enough. Or maybe I did. Gold and hydrochloric acid. That's young cotton anemones and salt deposits. I don't know if we have any salts. We might have put it all away. But we have the young cotton anemones. More than enough of them. Yeah, I think we put the salt away. I'm not so sure if we're going to find more of it down here. Alright, let's look towards starting to get out of here. guys with your trippy psychedelic stuff. Okay. Try to keep our eyes peeled for anything interesting. But it might be 
time to head back maybe to Outpost 1, make some of these modules to make this thing longer and more unwieldy. Ah, uh, we're actually not too far from Artifact N6M. I just don't know what kind of path we'd have to take to get to it, but it might be worth doing. Kind of have to find a way out, though. I know we still have to go up some more. I think that's more nickel. I'm sure we have more than one ingredient that requires it. Or one recipe. Also, just find a piece of salt down here. That'd be great as well. Okay, about to run the ceiling. Okay, this looks like how we got down initially. So as we come closer to the surface, probably better chance of finding some salt. I think you're nickel. Now you're argentite, if I'm not mistaken. That's a good thing we have a repair tool with us. We're gonna need to use it. Oh boy. Your little penguin? No, I don't know what you are. Oh, newt fish. Sure. New creature discovered. Since we haven't picked any of them up before. Getting closer to where we should find some salt. I think that's all we really need. Oh, and a piece of gold. And we did skip over some of the gold nodes. We might have some gold on us, though. I didn't look too closely. Um... Oh yeah, we also need some titanium, so this could help. It's either something new, or it's titanium. Aquarium module, so titanium. Swim around briefly. Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Well, that's important. Much more important than looking for some salts. Oh. Those things do glassy EVs. Okay, we got some stuff to explore. We'll park this guy here. Deploy a beacon. Mercury. Two. I think they said the bow of it? Let's also give you a little repair. Where'd you go? There you are. All stealthy. Yeah, let's look for, like, there's, like, chunks of it, it looks like, that got carried away. I suppose we could start looking at the chunks first. Let's see if any of them. 
entrance. Before we get to the main bulk of it. Kinda yes. But kinda no. Nothing of worth here. I think you're just spare metal. Pick you up briefly. You're a new fish. Arrow ray. New creature discovered. A relatively small ray species capable of fast evasive maneuvers. Feeds on plankton. The fins on its head form an isosceles triangle, which it can tilt to perform fast and unpredictable maneuvers. Sharp forward fin tips are capable of spearing attackers who manage to catch up. Assessment mostly harmless. Okay, so that was that section. I think that's a whale. Yeah, we have a lot of the. This thing looks pretty big. There's also the fact that stuff could have fallen down from it. Now, this is just a different biome, it looks like. Tornado plates. Reaper's wine glass. And that's one of the things I'm not a big fan of. Okay, let's get somewhere a little bit further away from all that. Just double checking, this is the one that we just saw, right? Yeah. We're just looking at it from the bottom now. Still no way in that I can tell. Yeah, that's one of the issues is we can't see very far in this murk. Okay. Uh, not alien ray. Or arrow ray. Wow. Exploitable. Reaper's wine glass. The Reaper's wine glass is an unusually oversized single celled organism made of three parts. The rhizoid, or foot-like root system beneath the soil, the stalk, and the cap. Its single nucleus is located in the rhizoid. This means that if a bulbous cap is removed or devoured by aquatic fauna, it will slowly grow a new cap. Okay. And then... All the way down here, tornado plates. Tornado plates are an underwater mushroom with an inner cage surrounded by a swirling chitin structure. The mushroom's wildly unusual morphology is not currently understood. Gotcha. Uh, I think we do have room to store some stuff. Might not necessarily be the right spots for them. But we kind of want to have room to pick up anything that might be in there. Okay, this is an entire section of it that's not part of the main section. Maybe any cool stuff around here? I'm hoping we can get our parallel processing unit fully researched after this. Because that's a whole thing we have to follow up on. Okay, we definitely see an entrance. But I just want to make sure. in all this little debris field, we don't end up finding something cool. Or I should say, missing something cool. I hope we do find something cool. Yeah. So, so far, the side stuff might not be worth it. I think it's more just for the feels. I think you're a whale. Yeah. 
So you're nothing new. Unless you're a different type of whale. Okay, it might be time to go inside. There's a lot less... How do you say... Lootable debris around here. Like no chests or crates or anything like that. That's a full prawn suit. And we can't even scan for titanium for some reason. Oh, we're gonna have to cut that open. Okay, so we found like a prawn bay. Not quite ready inside yet, though. But at least that's a good indicator of an entrance. Maybe that's why we can't scan it. Is it supposed to be more of an indicator than anything else? Yeah, this is actually pretty long, too. A lot of the arrowfish and one of those jerks. Should be good on water that we don't need bladder fish yet. Okay. I think we made it all the way around. We're on the back side now. I think we can actually eat food for air. Maybe. Yep. We lost a little water from it, but. Yeah, because of the murkiness around here, it... it's a little bit harder to see anything. Let's get back to the NR1, recharge your oxygen, and then head in for reels. We still have the top of it to explore. But aside from that, I think we did a decent job of checking everything around. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's move this to the entrance on the side that we saw. Or there's an entrance like right around here. There it is. We'll make this our main entrance way for the moment. Let's pop. Well, definitely don't need an arrow ray equipped. Flashlight. Although we might not need the flashlight. We do know we'll need a laser cutter, though. Have we picked up a red feather fish? New creature discovered. That'd be a negative. Okay, I actually do like the flashlight light better for this kind of exploration. There's a PDA. And a nuclear reactor fragment. Yep, we can make a nuclear reactor. You guys know how much I love those. Renewable energy sources will usually be sufficient for maintaining a small outpost. For everything else, there's nuclear power. Powered by up to four replaceable uranium reactor rods. Do not attempt to replace reactor rods without adequate protection. Do not attempt to overclock the reactor. Nuclear is ideal for energy intensive operations such as self-sufficient colonies supporting more than 20 people, industrial outposts operating multiple docks and heavy machinery, and research stations housing live specimens. Might have to look into that. Uh, Just looking for the new blueprints. 
Nuclear reactor is one. Where was the other one? Ah, oh, we must have already accidentally highlighted it. Don't even remember what it was. Let's cut you open. I'm sure I'm going to want whatever's inside of you. A reactor rod. We almost have enough reactor rods without ever having discovered the reactor yet. Well, until just now. Logs and communications. Accounting of the Mercury 2 crash. Yasmin. Oh boy. Oh. At least we get to listen. That's a lot of my voice there. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my sea tinker. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Uh-oh. They went from having picnics and stuff to... Now they're talking about how the actual crash... Or the after effects of the crash. Oops. Uh... As much as I don't want to look for it... Oh, let's pick up some copper wire. There aren't any corpses right here, are there? So this would be the nuclear reactor core that they hid in. Doesn't appear to be, so that's good. So that's our entrance. Was there any other? There is a side passage this way. And a sealed door we can cut open. We'll do that. something to take note of so we still have to explore that path oh there's also a stairway leading up with another side path anything at the top of the stairwell though other than that it doesn't appear to be is there anything else down this way uh, a lot more. Is that another reactor rod? It is. Actually, I think that one said depleted, though. Was it? Oh, yeah, that one's depleted. That one's just waste. Alright, let's go refill our oxygen briefly.
while that's going up, we can oops, grab another of our waters and store some of this random stuff. Head back in. We'll get back to where we were. I'm going to swap back to the flashlight where I can see a little bit better. another entrance. We don't need all the metal salvage. I mostly picked up the one so we could help with the skeleton. But we still need salt. Oh, I don't think we have a uh, propulsion cannon on us. I think we made it and then stashed it back at the outpost. It's another upstairs section. Is there any other way? There is a vent that could probably lead us into there. So we might not have to double back for it. Okay, before I get too sidetracked, what's up here? Anything useful? Not that we have to check out immediately. It's mostly hoping to see if there's like a path up here that we couldn't access from somewhere else. Okay. Might be time to start branching off to the right. Also sealed. Synthetic fibers. That's actually kind of a big deal for making the tissue. It's one less thing we actually have to go make. I think that's all that was actually up here. Unless there's some sneakily hiding on a shelf. So this won't be the vent path that we need. Yes, yeah, so we're not getting there from here. But it's over here. Now this is the reactor room. Okay. It was Yeah, there's that one down there. And there's also one up here, but oxygen. Uh, I think this one's sled room. Oh yeah. Good enough. Check out this little path. Power cells. Not the most important thing, but still nice. Wiring kit. Yeah, I like how we get more of the final products through here versus base components. Problem is, is remembering that I have some of that stuff. Okay, I think that's all we're seeing here. It's time to go through the path we cut open. Which looks like it has a variety of branching paths. Events before we take that. Ah, here's some I wanted to build. Alien containment. New blueprint synthesized. Alien containment. 
Despite huge Altera-led advancements and stellar technology, exploring new worlds still has its challenges, and alien lifeforms are one of them. That's why we built the Alien Containment Unit. The unit is designed primarily to breed larger or more dangerous species. Technical provisions. Units must be installed in multi-purpose room modules. Units may be connected between rooms, stacked in a column. A hatch must be installed in order to access the unit. The base of the unit is a planter, allowing sea flora to be grown from seed. Breathing tips. Provided sufficient time and living space, organisms of the same species should mate and reproduce. Eggs inside the unit will hatch over time. Organisms raised from birth and captivity often exhibit unusually passive behavior. Warnings. Environmental controls may fail if the unit is overpopulated. Infections may be transmitted faster between specimens in artificial environments. Never tap the glass. You don't know what will tap back or how hard. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, so we can grow those eggs we picked up. Logs and communications. Trusting my instincts. Diana. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. This should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see, Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. I think that's the first we've heard of Diana. Uh, no, never mind. Stephanos did talk about Diana, briefly. Okay. Uh... So, seems like it was Diana's idea to come down here. And things didn't turn out well. Probably got shot down by the defensive thing. Okay, so that's all a different path. Check closer to the entrance we made first. Oh, got some water, or oxygen. That'll be useful. can't actually go any higher through this. It's another thing to cut open. We'll look into that in a moment. Don't want to have too many branching paths yet. Oh boy, like this. It's another one to cut open. This one we can see into. Kinda. There is a PDA, so we will be going into there, but for now we'll still leave it cut, just so stay a little less confused. Pick up this oxygen. Let's see what's going on with this stairwell. Looks like it just kind of leaves the same stuff. Oh, no. This goes off. Oh boy, it really does. I think that's our next parallel processing unit. Check that out momentarily. Okay, so this whole section at the top of these stairs. Okay. What we'll do is freshen up a bit. And then start cutting open some of those doors that are closer. Let's 
cook up some of the fish that we've been picking up. are not very nutritious. Okay. Speed back into here. Actually, before we start cutting, let's look over here too. Oh, this is all part of the same section. Got it. Less concerned about that branching path then. And we had this door to cut open and then a different door. Where's the other one? Over there. We'll go to the one we couldn't see through first. Oh wait, we still have a vent to check out too. Crap. We'll do that first actually. Before we start opening up other stuff and then forgetting about things like this. Oh, there's our parallel processing unit fragment. What does that take? Oh, easy stuff to get. Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Yep, and then we can go see Marguerite. See what she's on about. Uh, we got plenty of ribbon plants back at home. Oh, uh, this goes out of the ship? Sort of. Well, I mean, it does, but it's this whole path. More titanium. Oh, this is like a tunnel. It's a weird spot for a hole in the ship to have formed. The lighting looks different now, so I'm a little thrown off. Yeah, it's just a weird cave. It happened to be perfectly under where the opening was. With no other branching paths or anything. Which is just kind of strange. Oh, wait, maybe? No. Okay. Except I think it was actually two openings. Uh, yeah, this is the one that we just came in through. And then there's this one. Which could be a separate section, or it could all be connected. Probably all connected. Food and water, it's always good. Okay, this might have been time for the Pathfinder tool. So that little section has me completely thrown off of now. More food and water. Anything on the shelves? No, I'd say we look pretty good. Lots of food and water. Happy about that. Let's eat a block. And we'll drink a bigger water. Oh, something I can scan. Where'd it go? Ooh, water filtration machine. Excellent. We love those too. The filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source atomically splits it into its constituent parts and outputs consumable liquid water and salts while disposing of any harmful byproduct it can be built in any compatible habitat module 
but has substantial power requirements. The Altera water filtration system. Any liquid into pure, refreshing pH balanced water? Yes, sir. Any liquid. Those are fun. I don't think it would work on our overland base, though. I wonder if they've thought about that. We'll have to try just to see. Okay, this is a whole section we haven't been through. Is this the hole that we first saw and then swim down? It is. Okay. At least I think it is. Which means we should be near the vents that brought us in here. There it is. Okay. Starting to get our path thing back. Uh, we'll check out... Yeah, that was a different way down. I think it all leads to the same place, so it's less of a big deal. This looks to be around how we got back in. I think we did leave a container in one of these rooms. I oh, thought I saw another scan symbol pop up. Oh yeah, we definitely are going to need a pathfinder this Okay. Actually, we're in danger of dying. Let's get back through here. We'll take the path that we know about. That's one of the reasons I haven't cut open extra doors yet. some of that out so we can store some of this. Actually, let's start consolidating some stuff real quick. We know. Oh, we need lithium for it. Well, we can turn this into titanium first. And we need another titanium. And two of the lithium, which there. Nope. Titanium ingot. Plus steel ingot. Let's go to our blueprints real quick. Nope. We'll unpin synthetic fibers. Just so I can better keep track of the skeleton. Three diamonds. Which I know we picked up enough. Just a matter of finding them. Now uh, we also need these. Oh yeah, we still don't know if we have gold. That's something I forgot about. One diamond. Two diamonds. We don't have a gold, I don't think. Uh, resources, advanced. Oh yeah, we also don't have the salt. So we're missing salt and gold. Oh, not the quartz. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Those. And plastic ingots. I think that's all. Yep. We'll move everything else back into these lockers. Actually, the other one. Oh, yeah, we need gel sacks and root postules. We can put the synthetic fibers there, too. And yeah, this stuff's mostly. Getting filled up by the random stuff. Like the fish that we really have no reason to be carrying with us, but we are. 
because Alright, should be good enough. Let's get back in there. 